OK, we've got a DesignJet 100 in front of us here, and we're just going to run through what an error condition looks like on the machine. Uh, covers are open, and what we've done, put a little bit of card down on those sensors there, just to override those, just so we can see what's going on, and actually we've got to cause an error condition, and show you what happens. So, start off, go to the front panel, and we'll power the machine on. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to block the carriage pathway. When it tries to move across, it's getting blocked. And that should come up with an error condition. Loud beep. First thing the design jet does, switches itself off. So there's nothing on the display. And what it will do in a second, it will power itself back on again. Okay, now what we can notice particularly on the DesignJet 100, because it's only a 4-ink system, is we now appear to have 6-ink levels. Uh, they're actually an error code on this machine. Uh, you can always tell an error code. You don't have the printhead schematics on the bottom there. So if it was a DesignJet 120 or 130, where you could quite expect to be seeing 6-ink levels, the absence of those printhead says, well, we've got an error condition there. Right, error condition on this machine. It's actually grouped in pairs of two, so we've got four, four high in the first column, four in the second column. Those two add together to give us an eight. Next two there, we've got four plus two, so that gives us the six. So first part of the error code, 86, colon, if we're going on the service menu, manual, and then we just individual ones, 86, 1 and 1. So error code here, 86, 11. So that's how to determine what error code we've got on the machine and how to recognise that we have actually got it.